Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss local anesthesia. And the contents of this video include introduction to local anesthesia, mechanism of action, commonly used local anesthetic agents, and techniques of administration. As suggested by the name, local anesthesia is given locally to a specific site on the body that is to undergo surgery. And there is also no need for an external breathing machine which is required in general anesthesia as the respiratory muscles are not paralyzed. In addition, it is relatively safer than general anesthesia, easier to administer and it also causes less side effects. Now let's see how local anesthetic agents work. Being lipophilic, it crosses the cell membrane and enters into the intracellular space. Then it reversibly binds to the sodium channel preventing the influx of sodium resulting in blockade of conduction and ultimately causing the area to become numb and anesthetized. Now moving on to the commonly used local anesthetic agents. These include lignocaine, bupivacaine, ropivacaine, prilocaine and levobupivacaine. Local anesthetics can cause dilation of blood vessels which results in their absorption into the bloodstream and reduces their activity. So it is a common practice to add adrenaline to the local anesthetic solution it constricts the blood vessels and enhances the effect of anesthesia, hastens the onset, prolongs the duration of action and allows larger dose of anesthesia to be used. But it must not be given in patients with cardiovascular diseases or those taking tricyclic antidepressants and in end arterial locations like finger, toes, penis, retinal artery as this may result in ischemic necrosis. After selecting an appropriate local anesthetic on the basis of properties of the drug and health of the patient, the next step is to choose a safe and effective technique to administer the drug. These include topical anesthesia, nerve block, transverse abdominis plane anesthesia, field block, beard's block, spinal anesthesia and epidural anesthesia. Starting with topical anesthetics, they are available as creams, ointments, aerosols, sprays, lotions and jellies. And the available agents include EMLA, which is a eutectic mixture of lignocaine and prilocaine. It is used for application to the skin for venipuncture in children. Another agent is Moffitt solution, which is a mixture of cocaine, adrenaline and sodium bicarbonate. And it is used in nasal surgery for anesthesia and vasoconstriction. Lastly, lignocaine spray is also available. It is used to anesthetize the airway during awake fibro-optic intubation. Next is nerve block in which the local anesthetic injection is given as close to the nerve as possible so that the area innervated by the nerve is anesthetized. Some of the available procedures include interscalene block for shoulder surgery, axillary brachial plexus block for upper limb surgery, femoral and sciatic nerve block for lower limb surgery and inferior alveolar nerve block for dental surgery. Now the transverse abdominis plane block is an anesthetic technique to provide analgesia after lower abdominal wall operations. It involves injection of local anesthetic into the facial plane between internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscles. These muscle layers can easily be visualized on an ultrasound during the procedure. This is why it is also known as ultrasound guided tap block. To understand the technique better, let's recall some anatomy of the abdominal wall. This little muscle triangle here is known as the lumbar triangle of petit and the T6 to L1 segmental nerves enter here just medial to the anterior axillary line. So after the injection of anesthetic, these nerves are blocked and an excellent anesthesia of the anterior abdominal wall is achieved. Next is field block which is also referred to as local infiltration. Since small terminal nerves cannot be anesthetized individually, so a field block blocks them all together or in mass. This is done by injection of local anesthetic around the boundaries of the area to be anesthetized with no attempt to locate a specific nerves. A type of field block is a ring block uh, where the area to be blocked is the digit or the penis. For the digit, the block is achieved by injection of local anesthetic on either side of proximal phalanx at the level of web space. And remember, adrenaline containing local anesthetic should never be used in digits or penis as it may cause ischemic necrosis. The common uses of ring block include manipulation of dislocated fingers, ingrowing toenail procedures, or post operative analgesia after circumcision. So, this was everything about today's topic. Thank you for watching.